This is five on your side at five, focused on you. Just hours ago, ATF agents did a live demonstration showing the power of a modified semi-automatic weapon. They're concerned this new trend is making St. Louis streets more dangerous. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. I'm Kelly Jackson. The demonstration took place at the St. Louis Metro Police Firing Range. That's in South St. Louis. Ryan Henson joins us live from downtown, and he shares the message police want the public to hear tonight. Ryan. Well, Kelly, these are modifications are called Glock or Lightning switches on the streets of St. Louis and really throughout the region. Region officials say it turns a semi-automatic weapon fully automatic and they are flooding in from overseas across the country, but also here in the St. Louis region. Officials say they're becoming more popular on St. Louis streets. The sounds of a semi-automatic handgun. When modified with the Glock switch, its rate of fire increases dramatically. If you're shooting somebody with 30, 35, 40 or 50 round drum, you know, you may not be accurate, but instead of hitting them two or three times, you might hit them 12 times. And so, you know, every shooting is, you know, a potential homicide. Interim St. Louis Metro Police Chief Michael Sachs says officers are confiscating more modified handguns off of St. Louis streets. Between 2019 and 2021, there were five seized. Last year, 27. And already, five days into the year, SLMPD has seized three modified guns. That puts us on pace for 150 this year. Shot spotter data shows a correlating rise in machine gun usage. These things are dangerous to our officers um, because of the rate of fire of these weapons. They're also dangerous to everybody in the neighborhood because of their inaccuracy. Federal prosecutors recently prosecuted a case where a modified handgun was used to kill a man in a downtown apartment last spring. The evidence shows that that switch uh, allowed Mr. Whitney to rapidly fire off 20 rounds in approximately three to four seconds. This is an aftermarket modification. It's unreliable and not created by gun distributors. The ATF and federal prosecutors say the modification can be made on 3D printers and are coming from overseas. If you're caught with one, the punishment is steep. You're going to be looking at a mandatory minimum. That's not less than 30 years imprisonment. And let me add that that is consecutive to any other sentence you may receive. And law enforcement isn't just sitting back, letting these new, now more dangerous guns take over St. Louis area streets. Uh, just this past fall, they executed arrest of eight people in southeast Missouri who are connected to distributing the modification throughout the region. If you know anything about the modification or the sale of them or them coming into the St. Louis area, law enforcement urges you to reach out to either police or the ATF. I'm Ryan Henson, live in downtown St. Louis, five on your side. All right, thank you, Ryan.